For the soil pH test, you'll need your soil sample, measuring cup, baking soda, vinegar, something mixed with, I'm using a plastic chopstick here, and distilled water. If you're having trouble finding distilled water due to shortages, there's a way you can make your own. The way you can make your own distilled water here is you take a, a large pot, a smaller bowl that can float in the pot, a glass has lid and that has a bit of a curve to it. It's also good to have, have a rack sitting in the bottom of the pot so that the bowl well, doesn't sit on the bottom of the pot uh, once the water evaporates. Now what you do is you fill the pot up about a quarter of the way near with water. You place your bowl inside the, the pot, then you, you put the lid upside down on, on top of the pot. The steam will collect on, on the lid and drip down into the bowl. Many of the instructions showing you how to do this will also uh, say to put ice it's on top of the uh, lid. I would recommend not doing this as this is, this is going to be water you're going to have to dispose of and have to be careful that it doesn't drip into the, the distilled water you've collected. And it really doesn't help much from what I can tell. First thing you want to do is collect your soil sample. Now, I've already collected some here, but for one intestine in a cup, you're going to want to get to at least one cup of soil, which would be this line here. For our test, we want two cups, so we need to go to this line and have two cups of soil. Now, you want to take, take your soil samples from all over the bed, not just in one spot. And if you happen to see a spot that that's uh, abnormal, you want to test that separately. You want to take your, your soil sample from a depth of, of six inches. This is already marked, marked as into six inches here, so I'm going to be using my hurry hurry or soil knife. If you don't have, have something that has marks like this, yes, you want, want to measure it and then mark, mark at the spot. Now I'll be taking a soil sample from back actually going down about seven inches, which is about here, since the very tip doesn't get much of a soil sample. So I'll be the, discarding this part and just taking and stuff from, from this area here. You now to get the soil sample, you want to go down. Again. And you can scoop up. Discard the first inch, like I said. We're going to take our cup. And we'll put the next inch into our, our container. And you just keep doing that until you have, have at least two cup, cups of soil. Why hey, from, from six inches? This is more for we're testing in the nutrient in content of the soil well, than pH. For pH, you can actually go only a few inches down. However, for your nutrients, if you go lower than six inches, you can get a nutrient deficiency, the inaccuracy. And if you go above that, you can actually read as having more nutrients in your soil than you actually have. So I'll be taking the rest of the samples here, here and then we'll, we'll get back, back to this. For the next step, we want to mix up our soil sample. I'll just pour a little bit into this other cup but for now. This way you have an even distribution of the soil sample you collected from around on your bed. This 
this is easier if you have, have a bigger container you know, that you've collected it in. But once you've got your, your soil all mixed up, you want to, want to split it evenly between two cups. So you have one cup of soil here and one cup of soil here. As you can see, I have a mark here, here for, for one cup, and it's about even here. That's, so that should be good. For our first test, we take half a cup of distilled water, we pour it into our first cup, and we mix it in. Once it's well mixed, we add half a cup of vinegar. Now, there's only a few bubbles. Not really any bu bubbles, so that's probably not that alkaline. Now, if you see a few bubbles, it's fizzing, then your soil is alkaline. For our second test, we repeat the same process. Half a cup of distilled water. And mix it in. And once we have the water mixed in, we add a half cup of baking soda. May need to mix some baking soda in some. Looks like I need to add a little bit more water. Alright, let's have to put a little bit more water in there to you know, get it working and with my, with this particular case. But if you see it, it fizzing, that means you have acidic soil. Now in my case, we didn't really see any reaction either way. You know, there's maybe a few bubbles in the, the acidic test, so it's probably closer to acidic than alkaline. But that's how you and test your, your soil. It won't give you an exact number or anything, but at least it'll give you something, I, something of an idea.